Now we're going to perform an axillary brachial plexus in a patient having hand surgery. And for this block, the patient is usually in a supine position, and typically with the upper body slightly elevated. The superficial or external landmarks are also important, but that's the axillary fossa crease. We never scan into the fossa. Actually, a sleeved ultrasound transducer is applied uh, at the axillary fossa. So let us discuss what we have here in this image. This is the axillary artery. This is the axillary vein. This is an additional axillary vein inside the axillary brachial plexus. In here we see the median nerve, the ulnar nerve. The insertion of this needle also allows us to determine the path or the angle at which the black needle needs to go. So the needle here is inserted from the cephalot to the codat. So we could see how the needle entered inside the brachial plexus sheath and its position now between the median and the ulnar nerve. This is where the first aliquot of eight milliliters of local anesthetic is injected. Okay, so we can see the spread of the local anesthetic inside the brachial plexus sheath. And any time when the local anesthetic spread is not seen inside a sheath, we would abandon the injection immediately because that would mean that the local anesthetic could be intravascular. At each instance, we have detected that there was no motor response, and at each instant, the injection pressure was lower than 20 psi because using the uh, nerve guard, we have limited, or we are limiting the injection force to 20 psi. But now we have to block the musculocutaneous nerve, which is outside of the brachial plexus sheath. To do that, the transducer is slightly raised proximally, or cephalot, and the needle is directed in a steeper fashion to enter the space between the fascia sheets of the biceps and the coracobrachialis. And we do not inject around the nerves, but rather we inject into the tissue planes that contain the nerves, and then open up the tissue space in order to accomplish local anesthetic spread within the tissue space that contains the nerves. So here's what we see in the image. We see the conjoint tendon, we see the brachial plexus sheet that has been now distended. That is now the median nerve on top of the axillary artery. That is the ulnar nerve, and that's the radial nerve. And we can see that all of these nerves are now enveloped by the local anesthetic. And here is the muscutaneous nerve, which we can see where the fascia of the biceps and the coracobrachialis muscles are now separated to block the muscutaneous nerve.